Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Guards, and we are fresh off of the National for 2023, and what a show it was. This is the first video in what's going to be a short series, probably four or five videos long since I picked up a ton of stuff, where essentially we're going to go through, show you everything that we picked up, you know, explain why we picked some of this stuff up for some of the more oddball stuff, perhaps, and have a few openings. I was able to grab some really cool stuff, such as what you're seeing in front of you. So this isn't going to quite lie within the Zack Down series itself. It's going to be a bit of an outlier due to the fact that it's a little more associated with the National. But we're going to have a great time opening this box of AEW. This is the 2022 Hobby Box. Ended up picking that up at the National. It was... 60 bucks, which I thought was an awesome deal, and also got a number of wrestling cards out of value boxes. So, you know, I'm a huge value box guy. Anytime I do card show videos, card show reviews, uh, value boxes are where I kind of stay. And for the national, that really didn't change all that much. There are some exceptions, though. I did chase after some grails, was able to pick up some really cool stuff. So, I hope that you stick with the series and, and check it out. Uh, there's some really awesome stuff that I I'm, I cannot wait to show you. But I thought we'd start things off with something a little bit shorter. If you followed me on Instagram, uh, then you know that I, I was there every single day for the National, and I picked up stuff every day. Um, all in all, I think I ended up with, you know, got to be close to a thousand singles, and got some packs, got a box, got... You know, spent spent a decent amount of money, let's put it that way. But you don't go to the National and expect not to spend money. So in this case, I figured it was kind of a one-off type of deal. And that's kind of what we did, right? So the first thing I tried to focus on was to get some wrestling, right? And I believe most of what you're going to see here is rookies. There are some exceptions, but we'll go through these before we go through the box of AEW that you see sitting in the background. And for starters, we have a Julius Creed rookie from the NXT series, numbered to 199, 19 out of 199. Uh, and every single one of these cards costed a dollar. So I thought to get a numbered card was pretty awesome. We also picked up a Drew Gulak. This is the Shattered Ice Prism. Gorgeous stuff. This is from the 22 series. So. I believe these came out of the hobby boxes, if I'm not mistaken. I know the 23 ones, obviously, as you guys have seen on the channel, uh, you get them from the blasters. They're blaster exclusive. So definitely was going to pick these up for a dollar. Also got Lewis Howley, part of Pretty Dangerous. I believe they renamed him. Can't quite remember if it's uh, Elton Prince, uh, but it's one of those guys. But nice rookie to get in the Shattered Ice. We have Kushida, obviously no longer works there, but once again, hard to argue against the, the Shattered Ice Prism. And we got a Veer Mahan, rookie. Thought it'd be, again, awesome to add his rookie Prism for just a dollar. Tony D'Angelo, the Don of NXT, in the Wave Prism. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. Really gorgeous. And again, a, a nice rookie of a guy that I think has a very bright career out of him. Um, but now we're going to get into some more like hobby exclusive stuff. So essentially that's what you're seeing here with the Eric card. So the reds, I know for certain in 23 were hobby exclusive. So I believe in 22 they were as well. So it was really a no brainer to pick them up for a dollar a piece. Got Eric from the Viking Raiders. Damian Priest, who possibly the hottest guy in the, well, let's, let's say one of the hottest guys in the business right now. Senior Money in the Bank. Again, very easy decision to pick that one up. Wesley, another guy who's, who's you know, maybe he's cooled off a little bit since he dropped the title, but at the same time, he's he's got a lot of promise. I think he could do some big things on the main roster when he gets there. Now to another guy who it's hard to tell exactly what he's doing on the main roster, but Grayson Walla. This is his second year card. Again, that red kind of speckle, or don't even know what it's called to be perfectly honest, but 
it is a pretty cool uh, parallel. So that's why, again, that plus the fact being hobby exclusive, I was like very easy to pick up for a dollar. Wendy Chu, rookie, haven't seen too much of her. Not sure if she's maybe one of the injured women on the shelf. I know NXT had a string of bad luck with their women's division. Joe Gacy, another guy that I think could bring a ton to the main roster at some point. He's doing some really cool stuff in NXT. So his rookie as well. Elias, guy again, perhaps injured. Haven't really seen much of him. And then we got this guy here. I haven't, haven't seen much of the blue parallel. So figured might as well pick it up. It's not a rookie, but at the same time, it's probably hobby exclusive, which... Definitely, definitely has to be worth the dollar, the dollar uh, investment, if you want to call it that. Uh, here's Kit Wilson. Yes, yeah, so the other guy must be Elton Prince. Uh, but this is his rookie out of Select. Not sure. Not sure exactly. Uh, before the show, I had never seen the, I guess, pink, red, and green uh, parallel. So. Per Probably just a retail exclusive of some kind, but not 100% there. And then finishing, oh, well, we got a couple different things. So Von Wagner, another rookie, his prism. Nice stuff. Joe Gacy, his select rookie, which not really sure what they call it with the, you know, I always thought they were little baseballs when it came to the baseball parallels. And then a couple of revolutions, which is a set that I really haven't picked up at all. Uh, the newer series, the 2023 edition of this actually looks pretty good because I believe, could be wrong about this, but I believe it's the first time that you can get Kabooms, WWE Kabooms. So a Veer Mahan rookie and a Kushida, and these are both numbered uh, to 149, which once again I thought was absolutely a no-brainer in terms of picking that up in order to, you know, well, not really an investment because, again, I'm a collector, first of all. But, you know, a numbered parallel for a dollar, I'll take it. Now let's get into the AEW Hobby Box. I'm super excited to bring this to you because I wasn't able to get my hands on any of the retail blasters this past year. Uh, but you do know, if you've watched my channel for a little while, that I was able to grab some of the 21 ones. And we brought those to you. They were pretty awesome. They pretty much all came with a relic, which I thought was really cool. But in here, we're going to be looking for autograph and mem cards from the AEW Stars. Eight cards per pack, 16 packs per box. Hobby, 2022. Collect a variety of low-numbered base set parallels, perhaps. Made by Upper Deck. Look for Jumbo Matt Relic Signature Redemption cards. And you can see what that looks like on the bottom in a second. Collect five Upper Deck Canvas cards per box, including... I don't know if it says a gold parallel, maybe, or... Some, a gold parallel for sure. This is what the Jumbo Matt Relic looks like. How cool is that? It is a hard signed oversized three by five Jumbo Matt Relic. So that that's essentially what that looks like, but you, it's not in here. You do have to pull a redemption in order to get it. So let's get this open without further ado and see what's in here. This is the first time that CM Punk has appeared in an AEW release. Obviously, he wasn't with the company when the first card set or release came around. So, he's your headliner here. There we are. Eight packs, eight packs. Get the box off to the side. And let's dig in. Hope for a little bit of luck and maybe to pull something really cool. Definitely been watching a lot more AEW recently. I've been watching all the Collision stuff. Uh, for my money, I think I find Collision to be a better show than Dynamite. I know that I could be in the majority or the minority on that one, but I, I really enjoy Collision. And we have Angelico kick things off, followed by Riho, who I believe is what the first woman's champion. Stu Grayson for the Dark Order. We have our gold parallel for the Blade. And we have a really awesome Sting card. And the gold card is not numbered, but we're going to go ahead and put it over here as a parallel. The Sting card, that's, once again, a non-numbered parallel, but super cool. 
Loving that. I also believe he wasn't around in the... F no, he was not... Or maybe he was in the first set. I can't remember. It's been quite a while since I opened it. Uh, we got debut dates for Mark Henry. This is a... Again, I guess a blue parallel, probably. So many different parallels. We'll just put all them together. We got a regular Blade and Keith Lee. Who... Arguably, I mean, I'm not sure what he's doing in AEW. I mean, I guess he's doing better than he was doing in WWE. I mean, they're not using the Bearcat name and all that silly stuff that they were trying to give him. But at the same time, he doesn't seem to be the same guy that he was. Like, I thought he was incredible, you know, leading up to his time in WWE. And then as part of NXT, I thought he was incredible. And then unfortunately, he floundered on the main roster due to some rough booking and that was that powerhouse Hobbs cards are nice this year too definitely a fresh look to them Andrade El Idolo or if you watch Collision and you listen to the Kevin Kelly cannot pronounce that he always goes with Idolo <laughs> Alex Reynolds we got ourselves another gold this time Jade Cargill so I guess they're not going to be numbered. We don't have to check those. Upper Deck Canvas, Brian Pillman Jr. Really cool. Although, if it's uh, to be believed, I believe he's headed for NXT. He moved to... Ooh, look at that. Main Features. Miro. But yeah, he moved down to Florida to join the PC in NXT. Adam Cole, baby. And Miro. So some former... More former kind of WWE guys there that I think both guys are doing a wonderful job in AEW. Hopefully they continue to do so. Ortiz. We got the natural Dustin Rhodes. We got Pac. Or I think it's Pac actually, right? Chris Jericho in the gold. We got a John Moxley in the, again, whatever that's called. Basically the same type of parallel that they had last year, but really, really nice. Main features, Brian Danielson, The Butcher, and Griff Garrison. Definitely a nice looking set. And I really wasn't going to pass it up for 60 bucks. These have really gone down, though. If you go, uh, you know, onto eBay, you can get one of these for, I think the cheapest I saw was about 70 bucks, so... That's why I went ahead and grabbed this at 60 bucks. You know, it was as simple as, you know, just take, getting it off the guy's table, giving him 60 bucks. You know, no shipping or anything required on like eBay. Got the Butcher and the Blade tag team. Got Dax Harwood. Sammy Guevara. Our next canvas is Ricky Starks. Who's, again, doing some phenomenal work on Collision. We got Sting. Matt Jackson, tag team of Santana and Ortiz, and Red Velvet. Uh, tag teams? They're not inserts, right? So the first release ended up getting a number of blaster boxes, obviously, that I opened on here. Didn't get a hobby. Pulled some really cool memorabilia cards, for sure. Uh, my favorite being the JR. I guess it was a piece of his his suit or something but yeah it's a mem card from him and uh anyway when i was building the set i only ended up uh, like two or three cards short still so gonna have to reach out and just buy the singles on ebay or something didn't see any singles at the national which was very surprising jamie hater we got jake hager nyla rose got tully blanchard manager card Referee Rick Knox, numbered with a massive print line going right through the middle. Look at that. Oh, several print lines. One there, one there. Oh, no, just the two. But still, man, do they stick out. Numbered to 299. It's a shame that my first numbered card is a referee. And the fact that it's, uh, you know, got some problems with it. Kyle O'Reilly, who I guess is still on the shelf. Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho. But the National had a lot of wrestling stuff. It was, you know, I mean, 
like they say, if you if you can't find it at the National, then they probably never made it, right? But at the same time, I was pleasantly surprised at the amount of wrestling representation. It was awesome. Really awesome. From dollar boxes to, you know, tons of uh, sealed stuff to just lots of memorabilia and stuff that you could look at. Different, you know, old school autographs of guys like Andre the Giant, which so much fun looking at stuff like that. It really was. We have Dustin Rhodes in the main features and Ray Phoenix in the main features. Interesting. Sammy Guevara, Tully Blanchard, and Anthony Bones. But not a lot of AEW stuff. Again, like I said, the the, the car, definitely not a lot of the cards. Uh, you know, maybe it's just the fact that they don't have as many releases out there as WWE does. WWE has their old Tops releases, you know, right up until today. So that could definitely be part of it. Hikaru Shida. Got Keith Lee in the gold. Canvas of Matt Hardy. Uh, yeah. Pac, or Pac again. Jade Cargill, we got the Young Bucks. And Christian Cage, outwork everyone. Not a lot of wrestling signers this year too, which is another thing. Again, this was my first national, so my, my thoughts are really only reflective of, of this year's show. But from what I've seen in years past, there's been... Uh, at least some wrestling representation on the on the autograph list, and and there was this year they had a bunch of guys from NX, uh, NXT from TNA Impact, whatever you want to call it, that showed up, but not uh, Doctor Britt Baker DMD. Awesome card, absolutely awesome. But nobody that I you know took the time out to go meet or anything like that. It was. Uh, I didn't take the time really to do any autographs. Malachi Black. Awesome. The one thing that I missed out on on this show, right? So the same place that I got these dollar cards, they had a higher end uh, kind of value box. And they had an Alistair Black, obviously, and it was with WWE, uh, signed card, 10 bucks, And had it in my hand the one day I was there and put it back and decided kind of overnight that I'd, hey, I'd pick it up the next day. Can't do that. One one major, major thing that I've learned about the National is if you want it, buy it. Because there's a solid chance that it's not going to be there the next day. Or whenever it is you go back. FTR. Got Tony Schiavone. Got the Hangman Adam Page. Awesome card. John Moxley. Scorpio Sky. Rio Mizunami. And Private Party. Okay. But definitely going to try to drop some knowledge here and there on what I learned from the National. It was a real eye-opening experience. I mean, there were a lot of people, but at the same time, I, I felt like there was more than enough room. So that, that, was, that was my big takeaway. Matt Seidel. Got a canvas of Orange Cassidy. Main features of Adam Cole. Cash Wheeler, there's Punk, and Serena Deeb, CM Punk, there you go, his first wrestling card in who knows how long. On to the next, we got Lance Archer, followed by Hangman Adam Page, referee Rick Knox, now the standard card, we got The Butcher, we got Debut Dates, of Andrade El Idolo. Very cool. I like that a lot. Hikaru Shida. Ethan Page. All Ego. And Mark Henry. Getting down to the wire now. With our final. We got five here. Including this one. Not a bad box. I mean. I think we've slowly gotten. Everything that we're guaranteed. Really cool Sting card. A gold of Griff Garrison. And we got ourselves a purple Colt Boom Boom Cabana to 199. 21 of 199. Ooh, that's one thing I will say that you got. <laughs> I opened plenty of blaster boxes for Series 1 or, well, 2021. 
uh, AEW. And I didn't get a single numbered card. I got plenty of other cool stuff, you know, like the mem cards and stuff like that. But no, no autographs either. And no numbered cards, which I thought was kind of crazy. Maybe just bad luck. But at the end of the day, it kind of sucked. And we got 2.0. Matt Jackson, we got another Rick Knox, Jungle Boy, Cabana, and the Lucha Brothers. Three to go. And I think we've hit just about everybody. Hopefully, I can build the set once I'm all done here. That would be the ultimate goal. Luchasaurus, Orange Cassidy, Gold Santana and Ortiz, Canvas of Jade Cargill, Main feature, Ray Phoenix. Got Jay Lethal, Frankie Kazarian, and John Silver. Two to go, two to go. Can we get a little something to finish this off? Let's see. Two numbered cards, a bunch of inserts. Good stuff. Billy Goon, Brian Pillman Jr., Jim Ross, a gold of red velvet. Mark Henry main feature, Jungle Boy main feature. Max Caster and Tony Schiavone. And we are just about out of space there. Last pack. Let's see if we can get a little last pack magic to finish up this special national hobby box opening of 2022 AEW. QT Marshall. That's a horrible way to start it off. Kenny Omega. And we get a relic of Anna J. That is sweet. That is thick, too. Jeez. Got an outside the ring varsity blondes. I haven't seen any of those either, so maybe that's a harder insert to pull. And Matt Seidel. Look at that. Anna J. Really cool. A trading card with a match used ring mat that was certified by Upper Deck as having been used in an official AEW match. Interesting. It's just been used in an official match, not necessarily an Anna J match, but that's really cool. And I guess a gold parallel of it, my guess. You know, interesting. So really cool box. I would say it was definitely worth the money. Definitely worth the money and, and worth all the trouble getting it back home. <laughs> I will definitely tell you guys in later videos what that means because Boy, did I have issues getting this stuff on the plane and everything. It was it was just a nightmare. But that really does it for this opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you will tune in for the rest of our national review slash tips slash whatever you kind of want to call it series. <laughs> I'll be sure to be posting them as well. And... If you could just do me a favor, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, you could head down below, hit that little subscribe button, maybe click the little like there if you've enjoyed this video, or if you plan on watching the rest of the series, I would absolutely love to hear from you in the comments section. If you were at the National, let me know your thoughts. And as for me, this is Zach with Zach Attack Cards signing off. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.